Hey guys, I'm Shannon Kelly and today we're going to be talking about using social platforms with your business. Choosing a social platform is entirely dependent on your business and where your customers are going to be located. So we have a wedding venue client that is great for Instagram, very visual heavy. Um, perfect for pictures. Other clients that are doing more B2B marketing, whether it be sharing a blog post or something that their company has achieved or is working towards would be great for a LinkedIn post. Choosing the best time to post on social is again, dependent on your business and your customers. LinkedIn has some great features. If you want to share blogs and articles, that's all going to stay with your company's profile. So this can kind of turn into a longer lifetime cycle for them. Same thing with Facebook. You can do pin posts at the top of your profile. If you want something to stick around for a little bit longer, Twitter kind of stands out as a more or news heavy topic based bop bop you know you go through your feed and, and it's quick and digestible it's an, also a great place to interact with other users instagram is a personal favorite of mine it's very visual so again you would want to do this for for businesses that are very visual and you can switch things up with your gallery i think this gives you a a longer lifespan because people can always go back and look at the things that you've done over the years social media creates an ongoing conversation with the folks that are gonna be working with your product from day to day. This is a great way to negate bad reviews. This is a great way to reach out to your customers and answer questions and really be the driving force of customer service behind your brand through social media.